Hey everybody! We got the camera working somehow. <laughs> somehow Chris got it fixed. So I don't know what he did. Anyway, um, I am 21 weeks tomorrow. 21 weeks. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think I think it might have been like 16 weeks when I made my last video. So it's been a while. It's been a long while. So I do apologize. It's just every time I would turn on the camera, the computer would shut down and it was super annoying. Um, my nausea has gone away, which thank God. Um, I do get sick when I eat. Like I only can eat for like 5 or 10 minutes and then I get sick to my stomach. Um, but other than that, I feel pretty much okay. Also, I, I kind of get sick if I, if I go too long without eating. Um, sorry that it's not like well lit or anything. It's kind of really late at night. It's almost 11 o'clock and we just found out that the camera started working. So I had to make a video. Um, so, um, not a lot. I mean, the biggest thing is that he's moving. We found out we're having a boy. Um, his name is going to be Caden Flynn. Uh, Caden is spelled K-A-Y-D-E-N. My middle name is K, and my mom's middle name is K, and I wanted that somewhere in the name. Um, so Caden sounded really good, and I kind of looked it up. It's kind of growing in popularity, and I've, I've met a few people that are like, oh, that's my son's name, and so it makes me feel good. Um, it's another unisex name, which is fine. And Flynn is Christopher's grandmother's maiden name, so... Um, for any of you that know her, she goes by Patricia Flynn Williams and stuff like that, so. Um, because Devin has my grandfather's middle name, which is Ray, and Chris was like, well, you know, I want, I want him to be named after my grandma or something like that, my grandparents, whatever, so. Uh, the only thing <laughs> that kind of makes him upset is that the initials will be KFC, so. I'm sure I'll be giving him plenty of buckets of Kentucky Fried Chicken because <laughs> I'm mean like that. Um, but he is a ninja. He moves so much. He kicks hard. Um, I've seen him move from the outside and it's really exciting. Um, today before I went to work I was sitting on the couch relaxing and felt him move for almost three hours straight. <laughs> I didn't even want to get up from the couch but of course I had to because I had to go to the bathroom. Um, he's just getting so strong and so big and I'm so excited that, you know, my little baby is getting big. <laughs> Before you know it, he'll be here and I'll be showing him off. Um, Devin is getting huge. Um, he, he's been crazy, but the last week he's been sleeping throughout the night and I actually have to wake him up in the morning which is so weird because he's the kid that doesn't sleep. When he was two weeks old, I kid you not, he would stay up for 19 hours straight. During the day, mainly. Like, he'd get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and stay up for 19 hours. Um, so there were plenty of times that I was just so exhausted and I'd call my mom and beg her to come get Devin because I was just so tired. Um, so I'm kind of really scared about Chris getting a job far away from San Angelo because it's not going to be so easy to get my mom because when we had Devin, we lived right next door to my mom. I'm sure everything will work out. I'm sure that I'll be a lot more calm this this baby with this baby and, you know, I'll know what to do more. So, I don't know. They say your second one's easier than your first one and I hope... I hope this is my sleeper. I hope this baby is a lot like me when I was a baby. My mom said I didn't cry unless there was something wrong. So, and Devin really didn't cry a lot. He just would not sleep. He would just sit there with his eyes open and look at everything. And he is brilliant because of it. Um, him and Chris have started playing football. So, that's pretty impressive. Like, he's, he can throw a pretty mean spiral and he's only three. So, and he's super excited about Caden. He talks to Caden all the time. Um, he was kind of really upset when I told him that we were having a boy because he really wanted a sister. Um, 
I had been getting really sharp pains very consistently and I got really scared and went to the doctor and she did a sonogram and everything you know to make sure that the baby was okay and they were like do you want to know what you're having and I was like I'm having a boy I already know so I had to go pick up Devin from daycare and I told him I said you know I have some good news and I have some bad news and he was like what's the bad news like th that's my three year old that's how he talks so I told him that I had to go to the doctor and see the baby without him because I was hurting. And so he got kind of upset and then I told him that he was having a brother, that we were having a boy. And he was like, no, I want a sister. So, but he's over that and he's pretty excited to be having a brother. He talks all, all the time about teaching him how to eat and teaching him how to talk and teaching him how to go potty. So I think Devin's going to be a really great big brother. Um, pimples still on my face. That's like the most horrible side effect of this pregnancy right now. Um, as you can see right there, it's annoying. It's really annoying. Um, but other than that, everything has been going great. Kaden is getting huge. Devin is getting huge. Uh, Chris did not get the job in Snore. Um, and that makes me super sad for a couple of reasons. One, um, I'm going to, if we get a job like in Monday, Texas, then I would have to get a new doctor and I would be really far away from home and that would suck. Um, but we'll just see. God will put us where he wants to and he provides. He's, he's gotten us through so much in the last three or four years and, you know, we're just really thankful. Um, so anyway, that's going to be it for right now. Uh, now that my camera is somehow magically working, I'll be doing some more videos. And um, I'm still not showing. Chris says I'm showing, but I'm not, I don't think I'm showing. I've only gained four pounds. So um, once I actually pop out, <laughs> I will show you guys my belly. But until then, um, really not. So anyway, I hope you all have a great evening, night, morning, whatever time of day it is, and uh, have a good one.